Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were greeted by adoring fans, as they opened a $40 million extension of the War Memorial, at Hyde Park in Sydney's CBD in a surprise appearance. Meghan looked beautifully elegant in a black button on Amelia Wickstead dress featuring white buttons. She accessorized with a head by Philip Tracy and a matching clutch bag, and wore her hair half up while in loose waves. She went for a natural makeup look with a henna blusher. Royalty fans had to hustle to the park on Saturday morning, after hearing of the couple's involvement, as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's attendance was kept secret until the last minute. The crowd was far less prepared than at previous appearances, lacking the signs and costumes of fans at Bondi Beach and the Sydney Harbour Bridge on Friday, which were advertised well in advance. However, a cardboard cutout of Harry and Meghan watched on from a balcony overlooking the park as the royals arrived. Harry and Meghan arrived at Hyde Park about 10 a.m. with NSW Governor David Hurley, a former chief of the Defence Force, and were welcomed by an Australian Army marching band. Harry rolled out his best officer and a gentleman look in the tropical dress of his regiment, the Blues and Royals, with medals, KCVO and sword, alongside Meghan, wearing an elegant Amelia Wickstead dress and Philip Tracy hat. They were met by Prime Minister Scott Morrison, NSW Premier Gladys Berejiklian, and Veterans Affairs Minister David Elliott on an overcast Sydney morning. Governor Hurley was decked out in a similar white dress uniform to Harry's. The couple received a tour of the new education and interpretation facilities in the Hall of Service where the new sculpture sacrifice stands. The sculpture features more than 1,700 soil samples from each NSW town, suburb, and district given as a place of address by First World War enlistees in the region. The Anzac Memorial Centenary Extension, as it is called, was opened this year as it is the 100th anniversary of the end of World War I. The memorial, which commemorates the sacrifices made by those who served for Australia and New Zealand, was initially designed in the 1930s by Bruce Dellett. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will afterwards be whisked away by car and then travel by boat to attend the Invictus Games Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge on Cockatoo Island. Later in the evening, Prince Harry will open the Invictus Games at the opening ceremony in the Opera House forecourt, where he is expected to make a speech. The day before, the couple took part in a fun-looking trip to the city's famous Bondi Beach. Meghan nailed casual chic while also giving us some serious holiday wardrobe in Spo, wearing an olive and brown, striped maxi dress by local designer Martin. Please subscribe channel. Thank you for watching.